had something that's just been coming up for me about uh, what you've been sharing, Jason, and especially in the context of creativity and creating. And that is so, some of you know, I've been working on a book. Sadly, the last number of weeks, it's been quite stalled, but I'm picking back up as I regain some capacity. And it's, it's been, um, it's really been, I've been working on it since probably January now. And it's been a fascinating playground for exploring creativity and what it means for me and how it feels different at different times. And, and because it's a project that I'm sticking with over time, I get to feel all the parts. And so it's, it's to me, it feels like this swirl of all the different parts of my humanity. Sometimes this clear inspiration that just flows through and out it comes. And then other times this really unhelpful, um, sometimes a sense of urgency or rushing or other times a sense of being attached to where it's going, not what's coming. Um, but, but at the same time, there's a good part to this, which is when it's working right, it, it has to be engaged. I can't write purely from the formless, like by definition, writing takes form. So it's like there are times when the two come together just right. And the form, my intellect is in service of this inspiration and it comes out really well. And then other times the form sort of overtakes and gets too big and it's not in service to inspiration, it's trying to lead the show. And then it's just a bunch of hooey and I have to erase it all. But I, I'm constantly playing with all of them. You know, it's just like one, it's not one or, or the other and they all have different flavors, you know, but. But if I, if I listen to those flavors, I've been learning so much, so much about, the, about being human in a creative way. It's been really fascinating. And it's like, you know, to mor this morning, what occurred to me is, well, the formless, that, that discernment machine gives me the, the what. It's always going to tell me what. But it doesn't always tell me how. It can't because it's kind of a formless direction. It's a yes or no. But then I actually have to go out and do I have to write a chapter or I have to you know Jason if you have a project you actually have to do so the formless isn't enough you know then it's well what does it mean to heart to harness the best of form you know the best of a personal mind in service of the what so that's going to give me the how so it's like if I'm actually going to put something in the world that has form is going to both have to be the what and the how and, and it's a messy, it's such a messy process along the way. You know, it's never, um, yeah, it just has all kinds of flavors. And it's just so interesting. I find it really interesting. 